working together what about a month now uh not quite maybe a week uh two weeks now okay what do you uh, do you do you think it's anything in your confidence or the way you're verbalizing yourself or or what do you think you're doing different yeah absolutely uh i've added you know some guts to my 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 sales and um you know i I, i'm way i'm a lot more confident on the phone and uh you know i'm a little bit more assertive uh you know i don't let the sellers you know kind of um push me around so to say uh but you know i just draw that roadmap and I, i let them know you know what the situation or how we're going to do business up front the agenda and, that's the agenda step you did and then exactly. you move to the qualification step are you asking your questions differently with a little stroking and nurturing and and mm-hmm. redirection yeah I, I i'm employing the the stroking the redirection I, I i'm really uh i would love to get better at redirection every time i hear a great question from a seller i'm like this is a time to employ redirection and, and I don't get it all the time, but I do find the ability to employ my redirection and, and actually work with the current seller. You know, he was asking certain questions and I was able to redirect them um, and get more information out of him. Find out his wife wanted to keep the property. He wanted to sell the home. Uh, but so they were in a conflict. So they decided to maybe structure something where they can get passive income. And after I qualified them. You know, I proposed to him, I could get you what you need, uh, get you monthly payment coming in, and, and I could get you, you know, a fair price for your house like you like you guys wanted. And um, as soon as I sent the paperwork, um, he signed and sent it back over to me. What do you? How long did he have it on the mark? How long did he have it on the market? Um, that's a great question. I want to say roughly about forty five days. Okay, 45 days, flexible owner. Maybe he wasn't flexible all the time. And something, why, and and you hit it off with this guy. Do you think it's because you didn't go right into the presentation? Maybe you had a little dialogue with him, a little adult-to-adult conversation, and maybe there was some likability and trust, or or was he just fed up because everybody else was playing him? Or what do you think was the critical point here? Well, how Um, come you were so, how come you're so dang lucky? (laughs) Um, I think it's a little, it's a mixture of both of those, um, you know, him being a little fed up. He said he hired a realtor that didn't work out. Um, and then with the report or just based, you know, the upfrontness of our conversation, me asking those important questions, you know, someone else told me that, man, what do you, did you work some type of magic or voodoo on them? So he, he had he, he was comfortable with me uh, and, 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 you know, our relationship was uh, easy going and, you know, straightforward from the beginning. And uh, once I qualified him and I told him, you know, how we how we can arrange this and what would probably be best for him. Um, once he saw the offers, I, I sent multiple offers and he decided, yeah, I want offer number two. And I think that's the best way for us. I, I love it, man. I love that. I, I like um, to me, and this is my gospel, because I used to suck it. I hated sales. It, to me, it was just embarrassing. I always felt uncomfortable, and I always felt people were talking down to me. I always felt like I was like asking, Mom, can I stay up an extra half hour and watch TV, you know? Yeah. Um, I always felt like that. And um, when I learned sales, it somehow my mentor was so confident on the phone, and he, he used to develop this this French word, for a rapport. He'd get on the phone and man, they were like your friends in like a couple minutes, you know? And I think mm-hmm. some people, I always saw some people had that gift. You ever see them? Mm-hmm. They walk into a room, hi, how are you? And they, like, they even if they don't know people, they're just, and, yeah. and I think that's part psychology and part acting. Yes, absolutely. And, and maybe in our society, tell me, you can disagree with anything I say because I psycho babble too much. But I oh. think in our society, we're doing too much of this texting and staring at these electronic devices, and we don't know how to we don't know how to talk to a stranger anymore. Absolutely, no, I think I, we've lost that skill. And how important is that in doing business? It's very important. I think the phone is the quickest way to to making money, um, just in general, uh, whatever your business is. I hear a lot of gurus say automate and delegate, uh-huh. and to me. There's nothing wrong with that. You're generating leads and everything, but but 
sooner or later, at some point, after all your money you spent and all the gurus and all the seminars and all the leads, you got to, man, you got to get to another human being who, and you hope they like you, trust you and want to want to do a deal with you. And that to me, that's where the money's made. Yes. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, so it's 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 uh, good for you, man. So how much do you stand to make on this deal? Uh, so this deal would uh, be a triple whammy, um, I guess what we call it. Um, so I have three profit centers. The down payment uh, could be roughly about ten thousand or fifteen thousand uh, net to me up front. Uh, up front and per month and in a month. Oh, are you going to make something per month though on the mortgage too? Oh, yes, and, and per month on the month mortgage, I'm, I'm I stand to be close to nine hundred to a thousand dollars in monthly cash flow. Man, I love it! I love it. Think about that nine hundred bucks. Mm -hmm, that is mm -hmm. so, man. Proud of you. Nice going. 